What is going on guys, today we are having a look at Hataboa, the 92 Dutch right mid for Atlanta. We are just pulling up his stats, obviously on Footbin to see what sort of uh, kind of stats we want to be looking at. Obviously 124k for him, um, an 86 rated team, one Dutch player, 55 chem. I can't really complain of that, to be honest. No double SBC. Obviously, we have got Maradona and Thierry Henry for the expensive SBCs today. And we have got an awful amount of upgrades. Four star, four star, six one, medium, medium, right footed, uh, 94, same same year as myself. Uh, long throw ins, nothing else on the traits. Pace is looking good, shooting fantastic, passing's decent, dribbling. Uh, defending, it's above average. Well, it's probably about average, actually, about now. Um, and then physicality, great aggression and stamina. Jumping and strength, again, not too shabby. We are looking at an anchor. Do I agree? That is the question. Because what? Was he... He is a right mid originally, isn't he? Yeah, he is a right mid originally from a 78 to a 92. Um, well, so we've got anchor as the first, shadow as the second, basic as the final. So, in, in fact, a basic would take this card up to a 97. Wow. So, obviously, the anchor is kind of like more right mid-based. Maybe more like a right wing back, if anything. Um, I feel like that's just trying to get up as much of the stats as possible. But a basic will give you 96 pace, 94 shooting, 96 passing, 98 dribbling, 88 defending, and 88 physical. I feel like we're going to keep it basic to start with. Let the votes come in there. We'll have a look at the end to see if it has been swayed. As there's only been 16 votes at the moment. Let's have a look at him right now. And see what Hataboa can do for us. Okay, so this is going to be the lineup for the team. Obviously, Hataboa for me is going to be the right mid. We're going to be putting him in. Because we play a 4-4-2, he will specifically be a right mid. We're going to be playing foot jumps with him. As obviously, we've still got to grind that weekend. And I think now we're getting to the players that are worth it. So if we have a look in game, as you can see, a plus 10 on the basic. The stats take him up to a 97 in game. I'm very excited to give him a go. So let's jump straight into him and see what Hatabo can do for us. Okay, first team coming up against then. Eto, Best, Sanchez, Muriel. It's... Oh, I see Berkey in there. It's not a great team. It's It's got a few decent players in, but definitely not the greatest that I've seen. But foot champs, obviously, he is um, at least ranked in some way because he's got Andre and LaCroix. LaCroix, I think he is. Uh, that's how you pronounce his name. Let's jump into it. See what our lads can do. We've changed the team up slightly for, obviously, the, the two reviews we are doing. So hopefully that doesn't kind of affect the play too much. Really just want to get it straight over to Hataboa because his play just... It, it doesn't look like he should be... Oh, God, I'm, I'm completely trying to think of what to say and, and completely screwed that up. It doesn't look like he should be as good as, as what his stats portray. Obviously, a 97 in-game is, is pretty insane for just an 86-rated SBC. Normally, EA are pretty good at telling you who's good and who's not with, obviously, the price tag. So, the, the fact that he's 130, I know the game is ending, but even then, they still don't give cards away. Literally, I think you could, again, a lot of these wingers literally can just do this. Just one, two every single time get the little dink over the top Hatabo is going to go himself this time there it is and honestly it's just very very easy he needs someone better than Berkey in that because that was shocking keeping he really needed to come to feet it wasn't anything extraordinary that I did I just came in got the fake shot keepers absolutely fluffed it and Hatabo has got himself his first goal in foot champs for me and it looks like this guy has completely given up already which is poor form I don't get why anybody would be uh would be using, what's it, uh, elastic band in their controller at this point. Especially if you think that's just rival points. It's either rival points, which, again, why? Or it's just pettiness. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to wait this entire game. We are just going to get five, just because why not? We can. Um, and then we'll leave it there. So, we'll let him elastic band his controller. And we'll jump into the next match. So this guy's decided he wants to come back after I kind of left my controller to make a tee. He's decided to go up the other end and score a goal. Let's just make sure that he knows that he should never have come back. If he's going to rubber band it or leave, just do it. Like, honestly, don't don't play that game where you think, oh, I can get a goal back. It ain't going to work when you're 5-1 down. It's exactly why if you do rubber band it, I do make sure that I get a couple of extra. Because if for whatever reason you want to do the rubber band and then I'm only, say, 2-0 up, you always want to get extra just in case they do something like that and you're not looking at your screen. Because then literally you go from 2-0 to... 
um, basically 2-1 in literally a matter of seconds and they haven't done anything. Momentum can sway then. So Hatabo is going to go down this wing. We know how this plays out for him. He's going to try and defend it. We can see Thierry. Ah, oh, he was peeling away from Baku there. Doesn't manage to get it. Hataboa going up against Mbabu. Doesn't necessarily have the physical strength of him. What can we find? He's going to keep on running with Andre himself. Wait for him to make that overextended run. And good from Matthias. Beautiful. Neuer. Can he go the ball across into Hataboa? Take a touch. And it's not the composure we wanted from him. That is a poor, poor finish. What can we find down the wing then? Need him to, to really kind of start going forward. He seems like he's a little bit kind of, uh, not necessarily hesitant about going forward, but he doesn't necessarily push himself. Ah, oh, I thought he was going to slide. We, we know that he's not going to slide now then. That's kind of what I'm working out to start with is how much is he going to go for it? Left foot across goal, and Thierry Henry is going to be the poacher and gets us our first goal there. But Hataboa not really pushing heavily forward there. I know it's Thierry Henry's moment, but we want him to kind of really start playing on that final defense. Henri himself managing a wonderful goal again. Lovely poach. His well, technically his third goal, but really we got we got robbed out of a penalty in in that first match. Thierry Henry, can we go for the header? Roberto Carlos is going to come in. Oh, nearly Roberto. Tiaramie's going to steal it back. Can we? Ben. Oh, it's a good save from Oblak. Again, Tiaramie becoming the, the, the man that's just setting up absolutely everything. Poaching what he can, and then creating what also is on the plate for him. He sees in a bit of hour who's going to hit the post. Ben's going to hit the defender. Had to bow her back in, but no, he gets flattened by a bit of Furland Mendy. Hataboa coming in for that tackle. Really stops him from playing it. He's going to win it back as well. That's lovely stuff from him. Gets it past him. Can we go for the byline? Oh, he's going to just miss out on that corner though. Henri pushing for that. And that's where the aggression side of stuff comes in. And really kind of works to get that ball back. There he is. Straight down the wing. Bring Varane over. Get the little dink into Ben Yedda. And it's a stunning assist from Hataboa. And Ben Yedda is going to get his first goal of this video into the net. Or second, I think, actually. I think he got one or two before. Good defensive duties. Constantly where Jimenez wants to pass the ball. So far, so good with him. I think for 86 rated um, squad, may not be necessarily everybody's cup of tea. And you may not be able to link him um, straight away because I feel like Serie A teams are not necessarily a, a massive one in the game. Maybe some icons. Maybe you've got a Hullet, a Cruyff, someone like that to link him. And then obviously they, they are pretty much everybody wants them. So there is the chance of that. And again, they're kind of midfielders. So you, you've got the chance of him uh, being a right mid there. But I do think that he's going to be one of them ones that he's going to be a sub. And it all depends on if you've got any bench room. We've got a lot of good players that we keep saying, oh, a super sub, super. This, and it all depends on who you've got already. You may have an absolutely crack team and he doesn't even make it to the super sub. I don't, I don't personally think he'll make it onto mine. Not necessarily because I've got too many. That's a great goal. Not because I've got too many, but just for the fact that we've got a lot of the same player. We've got a lot of Saar, Wanyama, we've got Lozano, we've got um, even Javinho still up there for me. So will he make it into the squad? Maybe not. So going into the overall for Hataboa then. So for me, solid player. Is he a starter? Probably not. Like, we've got a lot of these players. We've got so many wingers, it's unreal. In the Serie A alone, let's have a look what we've got on the right mid. Sanchez, who I still need to use, 100k, very nice. Lozano, absolutely stunning player. Like, he's probably one of my favorite wingers, who actually is a super sub. He's not actually a player um, in my starting lineup, but definitely a super sub. So I think that's where he's going to really find it hard to do. Um, and then again, even if you just take away the league, like you go onto the right mids, the amount of cards that we've had and, and probably going to continue to get. I don't know why that didn't change position. Uh, but like we got Messi, obviously top dog, Salah, Sancho, Garincha is an SBC, Di Maria is 275, Hazard's new card, Sanchez's new card. Um, if we go a bit further down, Vasquez, he was, uh, yeah, no, he was just in the team. I was thinking if he was an SBC, 
Alessandrini quality. Um, Daniel Ped, uh, Podence, he's uh, I think he's new this uh, this uh, season as well. Mares ninety one. You know what I mean? There is a lot of wingers in this game, and the same for left back, right backs. We've just had an abundance. So for me, I think it all depends on how your team's set up. Do you run a Serie A team, a Dutch team? Do you need a, a midfielder, a winger sort of um, super sub that you haven't got? This could be your guy. Obviously, we went with the basic because, as you see, the basic turns him into a 97. I think that's too big to miss up. Just for an anchor, I don't really want to defend with him. He's going to be kind of always up and down that wing as much as possible and preferably more attacking than defending. So the basic for me is absolutely stunning. It takes his stats to a next level. He's got great pace, which you could see. Shooting wasn't awful. Obviously, he was more of a, a, an assister in the match that we were playing. But definitely, you could tell that he could go finish himself. Passing was lovely. Dribbling is fantastic. Overall, just a very good player. For, for an, 80, uh, an 86 rated SBC, I really can't complain at this one. He's 55 chem, I think he was. One Dutch player, 86. So easy to complete. You can go and do it with pretty much whatever's in your club. And he's a quality player. Obviously, he hasn't really had anything in in the past five years or six years of playing fifa from fifa 15 is 27 he's managed to get one shapeshifter left uh, last year that i think was one of the lowest shapeshifters in team two and then this year he's managed to get a nation player in this version so could next year we see actually an inform or something more We'll have to wait and see. But for me, I think he's going to be, I'd say, about a 9 out of 10. I wouldn't necessarily go too much higher. Lozano, for me, is still the favorite right mid in the Serie A. And obviously, Sanchez, we still need to try out so we can give him a go and see what he's all about. But hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe with the bell button on. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.